and today with the latest KVM from T-Smart. This is the hybrid model, the first one that we are checking here on the channel. And if we take a look at the back, we will see why it's called hybrid. Now, basically because besides being a KVM, it's a docking station and it's designed specially to be used with a desktop and a laptop where we can take advantage of all the features that it has. Now, it doesn't matter if it's Mac OS or Windows. And if you are using Windows on your computer and still haven't activated and you can't even change the desktop icons, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get a bit cheaper so just in case the link will be down below just next to the t-smart hybrid kvm now i was about to share with you the unboxing but let's do something different let's take a look on how it works and then we will get back to the unboxing and now with a setup example for the 2 times 2 T-Smart KVM switch. And we can use it with the interface, with the remote control and also with the keyboard. And I want to share with you how easy it is to use it. Now I'm using a single display, a ultra wide. But in reality, I'm using picture by picture. So I've got two individual displays right over here with two individual inputs right over here, which I did connect to the KVM. So if I go to the image settings, for example, and if I press to identify, it will show me monitor number one and monitor number two or A and B. So just have that in mind. I'm working with these two without any bezel right over here, but I could be working with two displays on top or whatever we want. Now, in terms of functionality, it's really easy to use the KVM and it will speed our process. And for example, if I press right over here on the select button, it will take me to computer number two on both displays. And my keyboard and mouse at this moment just passed to this side. So I'm using the keyboard and mouse on my Mac computer at this moment. And I'm getting these notifications because the pen that I've got right over here will transit from one operating system to the other automatically, unless I block it, which at this moment I don't want. At the same time, I'm charging a phone so we can charge phones and whatnot. And I'm also charging the laptop which is connected right over here so it's charging through the KVM. Having that in mind so the easiest way is probably to select the computer that we want to use by just pressing the select and it will use computer number one on two displays or computer number two on two displays. Now if I want to change uh, one of the displays for example this is display A which is on my left side at this moment so I can cycle through and give me three different images from four different outputs, which is what I've got. Two displays from macOS and two displays from Windows. So if I keep pressing, it will cycle through. The same will happen if I press on the B display, which will cycle through the three displays available from the four that I've got. So if I want to have like this, I will be able to work with Windows like this. So now if I want to change just this display for macOS, I just press this button right over here. I've got Mac OS, but I have my mouse on Windows. And this is one of the shortcuts that I love because I use it a lot on my setup. And if I press double on Alt, I will have my mouse on Mac OS so I can keep working right over here. Once I finish this, I want to go right over there, just double click on Alt and there we go. I will have my Windows working right over here. So this for me, it's one of the best tools and a really cool shortcut in my opinion, the most important one, but that's a personal opinion. Now, this is the way that we can work with the KVM. We can have both of them and we can cycle through. And if I press on right over here, let's go to number two, which is a Windows computer. And we will have Windows, for example, on two displays. Now we can do the same with the remote control, which might be useful if you are at a distance. So if I press the left top button, it will cycle through the left display, which is the A display in my particular case. So it will do the same as this button right over here. And if I press the P button, is the same that pressing the right button right over here which will cycle through the uh, display B and display A. Now if I press number one what it will do it's going to put computer number one on both displays like we do on the select button right over here and if I press number two it will put computer number two on both displays like we did with the interface. So this is a great way 
to control it at the distance. For example, I can have a TV connected right over here if I want to. And if I want, I can also control it on the keyboard shortcuts. So the most important one for me is the double alt, but that is to change the keyboard and mouse to one computer or to the other. But if I want, for example, I can press double click on control, right control, and just select computer number one. Then I will have computer number one displayed on both displays. And of course, I will bring the USB drive as well right over here. And if I press control, control and number two, I will have computer number two on both displays. Now I can do also the cycle on the displays. If I press control, control, left arrow key, for example, I will cycle through the display A or the left display which is really intuitive if we do all the connections as I did show. And if I press Control, Control, right arrow key, it will change in this particular case my right display so I can just cycle through. And there are a few more shortcuts, but it's so easy and these are the main ones. So any question, leave a comment down below and we will answer as best and as fast as we can. Okay, so really, really cool having a laptop. I can charge the laptop up to 65 watts, so good enough for my MacBook Pro and most of the laptops that are on the market. And I can use my desktop while removing more than half the cables that I would require if I was using a classic KVM in a classic setup with a laptop and a desktop. So really, really cool. Let's take a look at the unboxing. So inside the package, we will find the hybrid KVM, which we have seen why it's called hybrid, a user manual that comes in handy for learning the keyboard shortcuts, the power adapter, two USB Type-C cables, one HDMI combo with USB and a display port cable along with the remote control. Now, as we have seen, it's hybrid mainly because it's designed to work with a laptop and a desktop. Now, if it was a classic KVM, we would have two HDMI ports of input or two display ports or even like we have right over here, display port and HDMI times two plus the USB cable right over here. But in this particular case, it was designed to be different. So we only need two USB type C ports right over here for the laptop and it will take power, it will take the image and it will take data. So this hybrid design is just awesome and we will have a lot less cables. In terms of connectivity, we will have the DC in on the left and then audio output. The two outputs for display A and display B, HDMI in this particular case. By the way, it supports up to 4K at 60 Hz on all the ports. It also has the USB A for the peripherals, mouse, keyboard and whatnot, an Ethernet connection, USB 3.0 type A, and then we have the input for PC number two, which is the classic with a USB type B, a input HDMI and input display port, and then for the PC one, two USB type C, which is great, and we only need two cables. And this is really my favorite thing because I can connect my laptop right over here with just two single cables. I don't need any adapters to HDMI and so on and so forth. At the front, we also have two USB 3.0 ports, one of which is USB type A and the other one USB type C. Now the type A will be able to charge any device up to 7.5 watts, which is great for a mobile phone. But on the USB type C, we will also have power deliver up to 65 watts. So I can be charging my laptop at the back and I can charge a tablet at the front, for example, which is great. And then we have the selection buttons at the front, which we have seen how they work, and also a power on and off. Build quality, regardless to say that it's all metallic, so great build quality like any other T-Smart KVM that we have seen right over here on the channel. And it's simple as this. It will simplify our life when we have two displays, one laptop and one desktop, regardless of its Windows, Linux, Mac OS, whatever operating system that we decide to use and that we want to improve our desktop. We want to remove cables and we want to have the most functionality of our desktop and laptop while using two displays. If the video was helpful, don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.